Hey guys. So this week I thought it would be good because I'm getting so many questions on Instagram about the bus and the setup and how we're going to do the album. I thought it would be good to do a bus tour. To anybody that hasn't seen the bus before or maybe you're new and stumbled across this channel, my bus is an old library bus. It's a Mercedes. It was owned by the council in the UK on the Isle of Man and it drove around in circles for 80,000 miles delivering books. I bought it, spent uh, a total of 15,000 on it and it took nine months to do the builds. I moved into it in June last year and I've been traveling. I've done pretty much two tours of Europe already. But the biggest question I get asked is what is the setup? This is my creative space. I, I have a Nord Stage 2. I use a Focusrite Adam F7 speakers. We work with Aston microphones. So we have a couple of their mics on board and their Halo, which is perfect for like sound deadening. We also work with Yamaha. So we've got one of their travel guitars here on the bus that we use to record. I've got percussion and all sorts of weird and wacky stuff. What I really love about this setup is that it's really small and compact. I'm a massive believer in having less gear makes you more creative. So moving on, the next question I get asked a lot is the, is it's about the power, how we power things on the bus. So the power is really quite simple actually. I have massive batteries somewhere deep below the bed. I have two solar panels, which keeps me generally topped up. It's not enough to power like a whole studio day. Actually, no, that's a lie. When we were in Croatia last year, we had some days where we'd start on a certain power amount and end on pretty much the same, maybe a little bit less, but pretty much the same power amount after a full day's sun. It's 24 volts on this whole bus, which means I can just plug anything in. Which leads me on to point number three. Welcome to the bedroom. This is my cozy little spot. Andy Smitherman's book again, always make an appearance. People always talk to me about noise in this bus. How insulated is it? I guess people see it as like a problem that if you can hear planes going over the top or you can hear traffic noises, etc. People see it as being a big problem and actually I just see it as being like a slight challenge. Sometimes if you're trying to record some really clean audio for a voiceover and a lorry goes past, you might have to redo that, that again. But to be honest, it never really happens and actually we've recorded quite a lot of vocals in here now and even if cars go past by the time it's in the mix you really don't hear it. Overall do I have problems with sound? Yes. Is it an actual problem? I don't think so. They're my main questions I think. If you have any more questions. So I've been in quite close contact with a lot of you now for the last few weeks emailing, Instagramming, Whatsapping back and forth about how this is all going to happen. This week I got a message from the guy who's basically hosting the Spain location. His name is Jacob and I really got on with him on the, on the last tour I did, I went to Spain and I met him there and there was something about him that made me want to connect with him and work with him and I heard him perform and he was amazing. He's got so much stuff going on and I was delighted with this message. Hi George, how are you doing? This is Jacob. Well, as you know, I'm a musician from Madrid, Spain, and I can't wait to meet you on tour and create some amazing music together. See you soon and pura vida. I can't wait to see you, Jacob. If you want to come and visit, if you want to come and meet some of the team and, and maybe even meet Jacob himself, then let me know. Come to Spain. The schedule is released now if you haven't seen that video. So the next guy was a guy called Martin who is in the location Wuppertal. Martin, please comment below if I'm pronouncing that correctly. He's in Germany and I'll just let him introduce himself. Hey guys, my name is Martin. I'm a 23 year old musician based in Germany. I play the keys, the guitar and I sing. I've been following Mark Ronson, George since the very beginning when he was still in the process of rebuilding his bus and the thing that amazed me back then and still amazes me to this day was not only the high quality content he was posting but also that he was doing it at an unbelievably high consistent rate so i remember sending him this message on instagram i will work with you someday when i found out about the tour now i literally had to jump on the bandwagon <laughs> i'm glad to have become a part of it now so yeah See you in June, Mr. Ronson. I could not stop laughing so hard when he sent that message through. Very much looking forward to meeting you, Martin. If you fancy coming out to Germany and visiting, joining the bus, meeting Martin and getting involved over there also, let me know. These flights are cheap to Europe, guys. Under 50 quid for a return flight. 
And of course you can come stay on the bus and if you've got any spare cash to chip into the pot so we can make the tour happen, of course let me know. Right, probably my favorite part of the show at the minute. This is the time where you send in and you tag me in your Instagram posts. Thank you so much for your submissions. I'm doing free a week of these and this is quite literally to show you guys watching this who's involved in the album. So my first guy in no particular order I thought was quite appropriate because he's just introduced himself. Martin. Also, I really love his piano playing. I've got to play a bit of this. Martin, you saucy devil. Martin, thank you so much for sending that through. Go give him a follow, go speak to him, go say hi if you would, gang, that'll be great. Ackley, let me find this. Ackley's Melodies from the Netherlands. So I am now going more into the Netherlands than I thought I was. He uploaded this great post. <laughs> Yeah, really beautiful progression there. He messaged through saying he'd written that progression, he was happy for me to use it if, if I wanted him to record it or anything like that. Nori, thank you so much for sending that through. I have this friend called David Anderson who used to help me out when I was a, I was basically a kid with gigs. He used to throw many festivals at his pub and he messaged saying, look, I don't know exactly how I can help, but I have a venue, we do jazz nights. Maybe when you finish the album, we could do some kind of like performance night or something to help promote. So what I really loved about this message was that people like David, David's thinking just kind of outside the box on what else at a later date could be helpful. So David's entry to the album was this. <laughs> I loved that that was your entry to the whole album promotion and stuff like that. But I think I think what I just really liked was it was the creativeness of it. It was the open mindedness like, do you know, George, I'm here if you need any help with anything. I'm willing to do this. So if you like gin, if you're in the area, pop down to Bees Knees. Go check it out. Thank you so much for the submissions this week. Right, that is me for this week. Over and out. Next week, like I say, we're going to be speaking about money and the dreaded elephant in the room that's hanging over my head about it all. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss that next week. Thanks so much for the love this week. Take care, look after each other, and remember, never stop creating. Yeah.